Hi, my name is Mark Piller. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate an example of a feature included both into WebWorp for Java and WebWorp for .NET called Managed Data Paging. As the name suggests, Managed Data Paging provides a way to page through very large data sets in your Flex applications. As you can see right here in this example, I have a data grid with the data of uh, American and Canadian Harley-Davidson dealerships. Uh, all the records visualized in this particular view will be pinpointed on the map down below. As I scroll down, whenever the data is loaded, it is going to be visualized with whatever the records are located in the data grid. As you can see, as I scroll down, there is a brief moment of time when the data grid is empty, and at that time, the, the component we provide automatically fetches data from the server, and once the data arrives, it is going to be rendered in the data grid. When I go back, whatever the pages have been loaded will stay there. However, optionally, you can configure the component to keep only a certain number of pages in memory. This way you can page through the databases that contain millions of records and still maintain your level of memory in your Flex application at a very efficient level. The example also demonstrates integration with Google Maps. Every single record here also contains latitude and longitude for each of this particular location. If I start zooming in into the map or moving it around, whatever the boundaries are of the viewing area, that will initiate a request to the server and will start bringing back the data in a page manner as well. So for instance, in this particular case, there are 149 dealers, and if I start scrolling down, we see that the data is being loaded in a page manner as well. Let's take a look at how this particular feature is implemented. I'm going to start with the server side. In this case, it is a Java class exposed as a service with a single method being used by the client side. That method is get locations and range. As you can see, the method accepts page number, page size, and the coordinates, which would be used whenever we need to find dealerships in a particular region. What I really like about this implementation is that on the server side, your method, which loads data in a paged manner, can be specific to your application domain. In this case, the application domain is getting locations for a particular viewing area, and that's what the method does. The only coupling to the WebWorp APIs is through the query result class. The implementation is very straightforward. There is a query which fetches all the records for a particular viewing area, and then the rest is just a plain JDBC API. You can download this code directly from the blog post where this video is posted, and install it and try it out for yourself. Let me switch to the client side because this is where all the magic is. The client side is implemented using typical model view controller pattern. This is my view. It consists of a data grid, label, and the map. The data grid's data provider uses this model.pages. And as you can see, this pages element is an instance of page data model. Page data model is a special component which provides all of the functionality for implementing data paging and also maintaining certain number of pages in memory. Right here in this particular implementation, we instruct to keep only one page in memory. Therefore, this will be the most efficient implementation from the memory consumption perspective. Let me walk you through the workflow of getting records loaded into the client side. Whenever the map component is initialized, we invoke this particular event. In here, the very first request to the server is going to be issued through this get locations in range method. As you can see right here, the method accepts the page number and then makes the service invocation. The service invocation is exactly the method that we have previously reviewed on the Java side. The arguments for the method are page number and the page size. In this case, we're going to be loading 20 records at a time. The remote object configuration in this particular case takes place right here. We use the WebWorps generic destination and specify the name of the Java class which will be invoked. The callback for get locations in range is this method. Let's step in there. In here, we get the result and cast it to query result and then pass this result into our page data source. Now, notice that we also pass this. In this case, reference to this must be an instance of I page data source. And this is where the magic happens. Whenever you scroll down in the data grid to a page which has not been loaded yet, our component will make a callback into IPage data source implementation with an invocation of request query page. And through this invocation, it will request a specific page to be loaded. And what we do is we turn around and invoke the same get locations and range for the specific page. So it's a very simple 
and loosely coupled implementation that gives you tremendous flexibility to work with databases and tables of very large size. The source code, as I mentioned, for the client side and the server side is available through this blog post. I also would like to note that all these classes and interfaces, which I have just reviewed, are available through WebOrb.SWC library, which is included into the WebOrb distribution. The instructions for getting it all set up are also available in the blog post. So please download these examples, set them up, run them, and as always, happy coding!